when you're talking about the sound of a typewriter, that's the sound. The computer came and people quit using typewriters. They set them in their garage or set them in their attic. My name is Smitty and I'm 80 years old and I fix typewriters because I enjoy doing it. I opened this place in 1967. All of the guys that used to do this stuff, they're all either dead or gone to the house. I'm about the only one left. You name it, it's in this place somewhere. This is a Remington. This is an Underwood. This is a L.C. Smith. None of that worked. It was dead. But I'm proud of the way this thing turned out. If I was charging you for what it's worth to fix this typewriter, instead of riding the bus, I would be riding in a brand new BMW or something. $68.50. No matter what's wrong with it, I don't just fix that one item. I fix everything that I see. But as you can see, it takes some looking sometimes to find your typewriter. <laughs> So I'm hoping to get it back when I come back later in the week. Schmitty, how are you? And I do it with the hope that the person typewriter that I fixed, they will enjoy using it after I fix it. Really appreciate your good work. A lot of history. Puts them out quick as it can and the best. But I'm doing this to stay alive. I know that sounds crazy. This is a cool space because this is called tiptoeing through the typewriters instead of tiptoeing through the tulips. 